The Jungle Book is an animated film produced by Walt Disney Animation Studios, released in 1967. It is based on Rudyard Kipling's book of the same name, which was published in 1894. Now, while people do not exactly hold this film in the same regard as Disney Renaissance films like The Lion King or Aladdin, the general consensus on it is that it's a classic Disney film. However, as someone who absolutely loves Kipling's book, I feel that not only does this film fail to do justice to the former, but it has outright ruined the public perception of the wonderful characters and world created by Kipling. Of course, when it comes to this opinion, mine would be considered largely unpopular, which is why I'm talking about it today. Hi My name is Abraham and I have a lot of unpopular opinions when it comes to movies, TV shows and even music. I made this YouTube channel to talk about them. Today, we're going to be talking about why I actually think that The Jungle Book is a bad adaptation. 1. There's barely any attempt made at adapting the original story. The story of the original Jungle Book is barely actually present here. It starts out with Mowgli escaping Shere Khan and finding his way into a cave of wolves who adopt him after a meeting at Council Rock. This is in present in the film. He gets kidnapped by the monkey people, but Baloo and Bagheera enlist the help of Ka, who saves Mowgli from the monkeys. This is in present in the film. Eventually, the young wolves begin to turn against Mowgli because he doesn't look like them. and Shere Khan begins to manipulate his way to the top of the wolf pack but Mowgli chases him out using fire this is in present in the film Mowgli then goes to the village where he orchestrates a buffalo stampede to kill Shere Khan but because of friction between him and the villagers he returns to the jungle this is in present in the film almost nothing that happens in this film resembles anything that happens in the book and whatever little parts of the film do are pretty much invalidated because of stuff like this majority of the characters are portrayed inaccurately. While I still wouldn't have necessarily felt this film is a good adaptation of the book, it would have at least been somewhat of a consolation if despite the deviation from the story, the characters were still portrayed accurately. Sadly, that is not the case. The biggest offender of this is Ka. who was turned into a secondary villain rather than an ally of Mowgli because you know Ka is a snake snakes are bad Baloo is supposed to be a wise old bear who teaches cubs the law of the jungle instead here he's a clown who dresses up as a monkey and dances around because you know actually I don't you know I don't even know why they did this Hathi again is supposed to be an old and wise character instead Now you help find him or I'm taking over command. What? A female leading my herd? Utterly preposterous. And Mowgli leaves all of his friends in the jungle behind to go to the village even though he didn't want to before because he sees a girl. Really? Look for the bare necessities the simple. 3. The tone of this film is strikingly different from the book. I'll make this one quick. The Jungle Book is a serious book with mature undertones. Any humor it has is shown subtly. This film on the other hand is the antithesis of everything I just said. There he is, come and get him. That's how a bear can rest at ease. Ford Walt Disney possessed no respect for the source material. Bill Pete was a writer and animator for Walt Disney Animation Studios. 
He was one of the most respected writers in the company to the point that Walt Disney allowed him to single-handedly storyboard 101 Dalmatians. After its success, Pete was then allowed the same freedom with The Sword and the Stone, which received a much more negative response. And as a result, Walt began to tamper with Bill Pete's treatment of The Jungle Book. And then uh, it was actually Bill Pete who proposed The Jungle Book to Walt Disney. He said we could do more interesting animal characters. Once Walt gave Bill the okay to start adapting Jungle Book from Kipling, Pete took the film uh, in his own direction as he usually did. He read and read and reread the Jungle Book and he began to come up with story sketches and he showed them to Walt and Walt liked them. I had spent a lot of time going upstairs to the third floor to look at Bill Pete's storyboards and I confess the story that Bill was working on had me intrigued. I thought Bill was doing a, a fantastic job. The Sword and the Stone, you know, it, that wasn't very well received. Walt became a little bit more critical toward Bill Pete after Sword and the Stone. He wanted to get much more involved in story than he had been in the previous couple and he got all over Jungle Book. And one day Walt called us in and said, I don't like the way Jungle Book is going. Bill Pete had written a very sincere version of Rudyard Kipling's telling. He saw a film taking shape that was initially not the kind of film that he wanted to see. It was very dark, it was very brooding, it wasn't the kind of film that he'd envisaged being made of Kipling's stories. Walt and Bill couldn't seem to reach agreement on the film's development and uh, the two of them, after all those years, broke up. Pete left the studio and never returned. Exactly. Bill Pete, the original writer of this film, was writing, in the words of a Disney employee, a very sincere version of Rudyard Kipling's telling, which once again, in the words of an employee, he was doing a fantastic job at. But Walt Disney didn't like Pete's treatment of the Jungle Book. Why? Because it was apparently too dark. This is by far the most infuriating thing about the production of this film. Walt Disney gave the green light to adapt The Jungle Book, a mature novel with themes of abandonment and fostering. But once the treatment for the film turned out to be, you know, actually like the book they were adapting, Disney didn't like it anymore. It's almost as if it would have been easier for Disney to simply read the book and then decide he didn't want to adapt it. But, to Disney's credit, as far as not reading the source material was concerned, he was only practicing what he preached. Well, we were at this meeting and the first thing Paul said, I remember, how many fellas have read the, uh, the original Jungle Book story by Rudyard Kipling? And nobody said anything because nobody had read it. He says, good, I don't want you to read the book. Now here's the story. And with that, he launched into a typical Walt Disney storyteller. He's a master storyteller, the greatest storyteller you've ever seen. He characterized every personality with his face and his movements and his gestures. And he launched into how he wanted to tell the story. That's right. Walt Disney got rid of the one employee who had read the book and wanted to make the film like its original source material. Then directed the rest of his team not to read the book and instead to write the film around his personal wishes and character portrayals. This masterful storyteller was also a masterful manipulator and it is so unbelievably fitting that after his passing, Disney has gained an infamous reputation for playing Monopoly with its companies. 5. The public perception of The Jungle Book is forever tainted by this film. This is by far the thing about this film that stings the most. It's that now, most people in the world believe that this is the definitive version of The Jungle Book simply because it was the first mainstream film adaptation. If you asked a random person on the streets about The Jungle Book, they'd probably say, oh yeah, isn't that the one with the ridiculous bear and the British vultures and that clumsy snake who keeps trying to eat that boy? The Jungle Book is now seen as nothing more than some sort of silly children's story. Almost three and a half years ago, we received Mowgli, Legend of the Jungle, 
a Netflix adaptation of The Jungle Book, which is by far the most faithful film adaptation of the book, but it was received with mixed reviews. Everyone in the world now shares Disney's sentiments to the point that if someone even tries to make the film anything like the book, it will be called too dark. The reputation of Kipling's original novel is tainted forever. However, this is the part in the video where I talk about what I actually do like about this film. Because despite everything, I don't think it's a bad film. I just think it's a bad adaptation. Because yes, I do see the mainstream appeal for this film. The songs by the Sherman brothers are obviously catchy and the silliness of the film is quite fun to watch unfold. But this is not the jungle book. Look under the rocks and plants and take a glance at the fancy ants then maybe try a few. You eat ants? <laughs> you better believe it. And you're gonna love the way they tickle. <laughs> Mowgli, look out! Let me just put it this way, I feel the same way about The Jungle Book as a Batman fan would feel about Adam West's 60s show. It is absolutely nothing like its original source material and it effectively ruined how the public saw these characters, well I mean in the case of Batman it was lucky enough to be restored. But despite everything, it's still fun to watch. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. If this movie absolutely had to exist, then I would much rather have it not be called The Jungle Book and only mention the book as an inspiration at the beginning. Frozen, for example, has almost nothing to do with the Snow Queen, but it doesn't pretend like it does. For starters, the title shares no resemblance with that of Hans Christian Andersen's story and it only lists the Snow Queen as an inspiration. This way, the public isn't disillusioned about the story of the Snow Queen, but Frozen still gets to stand on its own as a good film. Overall, The Jungle Book is a fun enough standalone film, but it's a horrible adaptation. 5 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then please press the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you know anyone who enjoys similar film criticism content, then please direct them to this video, I'd really appreciate it. Also, do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Please be respectful of my and other people's opinions, no matter how much you may disagree with them. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.